Hello students, today we are going to study the MCQs based on the animal kingdom. Now, the first question is most primitive group of animals which are multicellular. Most primitive group of animals which are multicellular. The options are Silentrata, Colonial Protozoans, Sponges and the fourth option is none. So you must know that according to the classification the first multicellular group of organisms, the first multicellular or, uh, group of organisms were the sponges. Because in sponges we know very well cellular grade of body organization is found, not the tissue grade. There is a loose association of many cells. Okay, And we say that they have the unicellular body organization. So the question was most primitive group of animals which are multicellular are the sponges because we start the classification from the polypod. So the most primitive group of animals which are multicellular are the sponges. We can say them as the polypods, right? Now, if a food particle is put on the osculum of a living sponge, it will. Now the question is from the sponges. Now we know very well sponges are having this type of the body texture. There is one pore at the top known as the osculum through which water will be exited out, through which the water will be exited out. And there are many small pores on the body through which the water enters the sponge body. And these are known as what? The ostia. The ostia are meant for entry of water. Ostia are meant for entry of water. And osculum is meant for exit of water. Okay. Osculum is one in number and ostia are many in number. Now the question is that they are asking if a food particle is put it on the osculum, if a food particle is put it on the osculum of a living sponge, what will happen? So we know very well that when the water is thrown away, okay, water will come out through the osculum. So the food particle which is placed on the osculum will be thrown away. Why? Because we know very well, for the exit of the substances, a pore is present known as the osculum. So when you will be putting the food particle on the osculum, it will definitely be thrown away. So the options were that it will be ingested, it will be thrown away, it will rotate or it will adhere. So it will be thrown away. So the option number B is fully correct. Now, the third question is, Non-cellular layer in Hydra. Non-cellular layer in Hydra. We must know very well that Hydra is belonging to the phylum Cylentrata. Okay. And we know very well that when we study the germ layers in the phylum Cylentrata, we study that the Cylentrates are diploblastic. Means they have only two layers, two germ layers. One is known as the ectoderm and another is known as the endoderm. But in between these two layers, a non-cellular layer is also found in the cylindrates and that non-cellular layer is called as the mesoglia. So the question was the non-cellular layer in the hydra is. So you have to, you have to choose that where is the mesoglia given. So the ectodermis, mesodermis, hypodermis and mesoglia. So the option number D for the question number third is correct. Okay. Now fourth one, special mesodermal tissue. Now this question is asked many times in the exams that special mesodermal tissue which fills the body cavity in the tapeworm. So, especially in the tapeworm, tapeworms are actually belonging to the phylum platyhelminthes. So, the members of the phylum platyhelminthes such as the tapeworm have a special mesodermal tissue and that mesodermal tissue is actually filling the body cavity and that mesodermal tissue in the case of the tapeworm is called as the botrydal tissue. Very, very important one. So the answer is A, botrydal tissue, a special mesodermal tissue which forms the body cavity of the tapeworm. Now question 5 is, Silom of Ascaris lumbricoids is, Silom of Ascaris lumbricoids is. Now we know very well that the Silom was first of all, true Silom was found in the phylum Anelida. And before that, just before the phylum Anelida, we study a phylum known as the Aschihelminthes or the Nemeta or the Nematoda. And to that particular phylum, 
a member is belonging and that is known as the Ascaris lumbricoids. So as the Ascaris, we must know that Ascaris is belonging to the phylum Ascihelminthes or the Nematohelminthes. And we know very well that in that phylum, the silom is pseudocilum. The silom is pseudocilum. So the question is that silom of the Ascaris lumbricoids will be. So definitely it will be pseudocilum because it is actually belonging to the phylum Ascihelminthes and Ascihelminthes phylum is having the pseudocilum. Now one question more arises in mind that what is a pseudocilum? A pseudocilum is a silom which is not lined by the mesoderm. And a true silom is a silom which is lined by the mesoderm. So pseudocilum you must know that it is not lined by mesoderm. So students these were the MCQs based on the animal kingdom. We will be coming soon with few more videos. We will be coming with detailed videos also as well as with the MCQs questions also. Keep watching my videos. Share and like my videos. Subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot.